Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron here, New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. Well, we're getting closer, the premier study Bible. We've got a book of Acts sampler coming out uh, that's going to be rolled out at Summit in the first week or so in uh, September at Pigeon Forge. And so this is what it's going to look like. This is the exterior. Still making some tweaks on this. I think we're getting Nelson's name down here and stuff like that. So they're helping us so much with this. And uh, everybody that comes to Summit, you're going to get one free. And if you want to order them for Bible studies, as a matter of fact, Nelson and Livingstone both said, look, we've done this with the Life Application Bible, different Bibles, and, and people want want these outside of promos and so for Sunday school classes youth evangelism outreach they are going to be available for purchase I'm going to sit here and try to get you what it looks like on the inside as well let's see here if I can find that um, see if we can pull it up really quick and uh, Here's our copyright pages, Axe Sampler, Axe Cover, Final Axe. That's probably it. Sent you the wrong file to approve. Let's see what this is. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like. Some on the inside, there's actually been a page or two added. So kind of got the red is our our uh, theme color kind of in the blood of Jesus kind of thing and the premier study Bible he's the general editor is Dr. Nathaniel Wilson from the Rock Church and uh, this is what does that say forward trying to look here Here's a listing of the editorial committee. Now, this is just a uh, very small part of the number of people that have helped on this. We've got a larger uh, listing that's going to be in the Bible itself. There's some more of the editorial committee. And I think that may be it for this. Yeah, let me pull up some more pages here. And see what we've got here ah okay so this is some of the articles that are going to be in the back these are going to be interspersed in the bible as well we included so it's not just going to be the book of acts it's several articles like on speaking in tongues and I, i've personally read through all these articles they're they're excellent prayer. Now, whenever you've got, even amongst apostolics, when you've got 80, 90 people working on a project, there's going to be things you disagree with. Not the basics, but, you know, some of the ancillary matters and all of that. Um, so, repentance. That's so vital. I was talking to a friend of mine preaching in Vicksburg, Mississippi last night, and he said it had been so long since he saw somebody repent. Because most times now we just tell them to shout hallelujah and lay hands on them and shake them and they, whatever. And uh, um, the New Testament church as model that uh, we're built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets and not of anything else. And so we're trying to get to the New Testament church. Uh, the Old Testament Feast of Jehovah. I will tell you, that may have been written by Brother Rick Treese. I'm not sure who wrote this. Whoever wrote it did an amazing job. One of the best I have ever read on the Feast of Jehovah. Just incredible. Let's see. So yeah, leadership, a biblical model. Those of you that know Brother Wilson know he wrote that book on leadership. <laughs> he wrote the book on leadership. His thing is, is that every New Testament saint as a king and priest, and you know, 1 Corinthians 5 and 6 will judge angels, that all of us are leaders in some sense. Now that doesn't mean that the New Testament church is chaos. There's still the fivefold ministry and things, but that we're all leaders. That's just really good. Uh, the glorification of Jesus. Excellent, excellent. Uh, 
So a lot of people don't think about that. Um, I know there is people that say his resurrection body is different than his glorified body, and that's a debate for another time, and probably a non-essential of the faith. Let's see if we can find something else of the book of Acts here. Acts, Acts cover, final Acts. We've got the copyright page. You would not believe the trials and tribulations we have gone through over the copyright page. <laughs> the, you, you won't believe it. I, I couldn't tell you. Um, I couldn't begin to explain to you how horrific the copyright page has been okay oh yeah so now now we get to the belly and now these little yellow things is in adobe this is uh, changes this is things that errors we've picked up on and that type thing so this is real close to a finished copy been trying to just take people through what it's like to do a study Bible. This is probably a half dozen videos or so on the premiere and got some more. I just want to do this one on. So, you know, and this is going to be kind of indicative of all of the by the books of the Bible. They're going to have authorship, time period, you know, overview, those type things in them. And so then they're going to have little outlines. And so this is what the Bible itself is going to look like. Whoops. As you can see, it's going to have center column reference. To our knowledge, you know, there's a great apostolic Thompson chain reference out, but it's still not center column reference. This is the first apostolic study Bible that we know of with center column reference. Now, there's been some slim lines and stuff put out that Nelson did for, uh, uh, for us, for the Pentecostal Publishing House, but anyhow, and you'll see like in-text maps, like it'll be showing all the spirit baptisms, all the water baptisms, uh, where the people were from on the day of Pentecost and some of these maps. And, uh, We'll just keep going. But as far as a study Bible center column reference, we think this is the first one. And now we used a mid-size center column reference. We did not use a, uh, a comprehensive. We thought about doing a comprehensive. Now you'll notice too, we have uh, 40 plus, somewhere in that neighborhood. I forget if it was 48, 39, 40. I can't remember. So I said 40 plus uh, character studies. So like you've got Barnabas here, and it's just going to be a character study on Barnabas. What a great man Barnabas was. Thinking growing up of Barnabas Collins. And so then things like this is just historical and archaeological things like on Gamaliel. You'll have these little things. So that's not necessarily a character study. That's more of a historical and archaeological factoid on Gamaliel. You'll notice that it is red letter in the book of Acts. I think it's red letter in Revelation 2. I just got done. I, I was so focused in on the notes in Revelation, I didn't. So like the Damascus Straight Street, these are just very brief. Some of them are more expansive archaeological things. But they've got, all got the commentary at the bottom as well. So this is the Premier Study Bible Book of Acts sampler. It, it's again, it's going to be available free for those that are at Summit. And it will be available for purchase, purchase in bulk, uh, $4.99. It's uh, 80, 90 pages, something like that for, I think it's 90 total pages. For again, you might want to just pass these out. Friends that are wondering about the apostolic faith, just it'd be a really good thing to give them new converts because you know, Book of Acts. I'm just seeing if we've got like Tarsus. Here's another archaeological thing. You can see too, it's got excellent in text headers. In text headers. And uh, Livingstone, our initial thing is we had it 10 point print. But 
Livingstone came out with such an amazing nine point clear reading print that we decided to go with that. I mean, just the letter spacing's right, the wording spacing's right, the wording up and down is right. And, uh, and it'll be quite a bit larger than you see on my iPad as well. It's like here's Sergius Paulus. So just a very informative Bible. And uh, again, we just want truth to go around the world. If, we, uh, if the Lord provided the finances, we'd love to buy these to send around the world. So you never know what God will do. But you just keep living for Jesus. Keep loving Him. Serve Him. God bless. See you later in Jesus' name.